Hey church, family, friends, just coming back to you earlier. We made a video, but we had some technical difficulties with that. So we just decided to, to re, uh, redo this video uh, on this Wednesday morning. I hope it'll be an encouragement to you. We've been bringing you these devotions every week because there's just so much going on in your life that you need encouragement uh, about and uh, you feel like you need help. And I would say if I were to ask you uh, over the past several weeks, months, if you feel like you've needed some help during these days, probably each of us would give the answer yes to that. Well, the, the good news I have for us today is that the Bible tells us that we have help, and, um, and the help comes from the Lord. Um, it comes from the Holy Spirit. And so I want to share with you uh, just a passage of Scripture from John chapter 14 verse 16 says and i will ask the father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him you know him for he dwells with you and he will be in you well that's good news for us because god has given us a helper you know there was a troubling um, survey that came out just this week, it was done uh, by Lifeway in early, early March, where they asked a bunch of questions to evangelicals. Uh, evangelicals are, uh, for this study, were professed Christians, uh, believers of the Bible, believers in God and Jesus Christ as the Savior. And one of those questions dealt with the Holy Spirit. It, it asked, do you believe the Holy Spirit is a force and not a person? And uh, a good number of these evangelicals um, stated that what they thought of the Holy Spirit was that the Holy Spirit was a force. Uh, friend, the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit, He is a person. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We, there's one true living God. And he has revealed himself to us in these three persons. And the Holy Spirit is a person. And the good news from this passage is that Jesus says he sends the Holy Spirit. The Father sends the Holy Spirit to be with us. Not only to be with us, but to be in us. And there's a word, uh, a title here given to the Holy Spirit. Uh, he is called the Helper. He says, I will give you another helper to be with you forever. That name helper uh, it comes from a Greek word, parakletos, which when you break that word down, what you understand is it, it, it means coming alongside, to come alongside, and to call to one side. And so uh, the idea of this is that the Holy Spirit, he comes alongside you. And he helps you. Uh, he picks you up. He encourages you. Um, that is such good news for us because you are dealing with things that you need help in. And at times, you think that there's no one to help you. In fact, over the last several months, maybe you've been living in isolation. And as you live in isolation, it, it seems as if um, there's no one around that can help you. There's no one that can carry a load with you. There's no one that you can call on or that will be there for you. Well, what the Bible teaches us is that the Holy Spirit is, that God is with you and he has come to you to be your helper and to be with you forever. And so what a wonderful, wonderful truth to know that the Holy Spirit will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you forever uh, not just in good times, but also in bad times. Not just in bad times, but also in good times. The Holy Spirit is always with you to help you as a Christian. Now, let me just say this. You need to know today that the Holy Spirit is with you if you place your faith and trust in Jesus. The Holy Spirit, He has come to point you to Jesus, to convict you of sin, and to lead you to Christ. And so... That's the first thing that we all need to do is we need to make a decision. 
to trust in Jesus for salvation. And so if you've never done that, you can do that by repenting of your sin, confessing your sin to Christ, and believing on him in faith. Now, if you would just call out to God and ask him to save you, then he will definitely do that. And if you've already done that in your life, then what you can know is that the Holy Spirit has come to be your helper. He has come to be with you. Not only does he dwell with you, but he dwells in you. And that happened on the day of Pentecost, after Jesus had been resurrected from the dead, he ascended to heaven, and the Bible tells us in Acts that on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was sent, and he came here to live and to dwell inside of every person that has placed their faith and trust in Jesus. So friend, whatever you're going through, I want you to know you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you, and he is even in you as you have trusted in Christ for salvation. Well, let me just take a moment and have a word of prayer for you, and I hope that this has been an encouragement. Father, I thank you for this wonderful day, and Lord, for the way you're working in our lives. Father, thank you for being the eternal God. And Jesus, thank you for being the eternal Christ, the eternal Son of God. And Holy Spirit, thank you for being the eternal Spirit of God. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for not only being with us, but living in us. We praise you, God, today. And I just pray that you would lift us all up. You would guide us, direct us, empower us. And Lord, help us in all that we're dealing with. We pray all this today in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. And uh, hopefully this video will have worked out a little bit better. God bless.